So today we're going to talk about the new service monitoring feature that was introduced in IMC 5.1 SP1. So this is brand new functionality um, introduced as part of the base platform. So why do you care about this? Well, as we all know, network availability is not just about routers and switches. There's more that goes into that. Um, how many times have we heard the network is down? Those dreaded words. Well, how, how often is the network actually down? The internet's down? How many of you have heard that? Sometimes what we're really concerned with is mean time to innocence. How long does it take you to prove that it's not actually you? So in the IMC platform, we've introduced the ability to do synthetic transactions that will allow you to quickly understand what's the response time of your FTP servers, your DNS response times, um, those kind of things. So let's take a look at that. So this new piece of uh, functionality is, is here in the resource menu, performance management, and down here at the bottom under service monitoring. So as you can see here, I've already got a list set up, um, some DNS, internet, um, among other things. All right, so how would you add a new one? Let's look at that. So we click Add, and in this case, uh, I'm going to do another DNS monitor here. Um, just call it New Monitor for our purposes, uh, DNS Monitor. And you have a couple of different choices for DNS service unreachability, so is it actually even there, and what's the response time? So we're going to put in the IP address of the DNS server and then a fully qualified domain name of, of a DNS query that we uh, actually want to pull out, and so in this case, hp.com. Um, and here's some of the other options, DHCP, FTP, RADIUS, SNMP, all, all kinds of stuff. Click OK, and there we go. Now it's added. So now that we've added this, um, how do we actually take a look at what we've done? So obviously it's going to take a few minutes to pull, so don't be concerned if you don't see something right away. Um, I'm going to click over here and open the service monitoring tab. And what's nice about this is it gives you the ability to look at all of the specific service monitors of a specific type. So in this case, response time of DNS servers. So if you've got multiple DNS servers that you're running in your organization, you're going to be able to see the response time of all of them. So you can see here that everything's pretty good. We've got Google. I've got uh, 10.1.1.0.1. Um, that's a uh, Cisco router that's uh, actually proxying DNS queries. Um, I have the ability to, to really look and, and see what are my, my different response times. Um, I've also got web services in here. So in my case, uh, I've got my blog site um, as well as the hp.com website. And I can take a look here, do trending over time, and really see what the availability is. Um, as well, if I want, I can go over and click here. And I'm going to have the ability to see exactly which... Um, servers and, and which synthetic transactions are being run and, and which track them and be able to look at a specific one. And of course new uh, the new performance trending engine as well, the graphical engine, and we can go in and really drill down to see exactly what's going on. So for this particular one um, we had some issues here at, at some point so that might be something we want to drill into. So if uh, somebody had complained to say the network's down and during these two periods of time we can go, well actually no the web server was down. A little nice piece of functionality. Um, one other thing to be aware of is if you want more than that, we also introduced the APM module, and we'll look at that on another day. See you next time on the next IMC management tutorial.